For somebody who wasn't a dog person, and I really did not want dogs in my life, my personal individual dog, Jack, he's got my back covered at all times. Instead of having to live at kind of an ever-vigilant state or an aware state, I get to relax a little bit. I mean, he is, he's my ultimate protector and he's the ultimate love of my life. From day one, our dogs are family protection dogs. Uh, we do all of our breeding here on site just so we can know everything that's gone into that dog's life from day one. Our dog's role is to be there in every different aspect of life and they need to be able to know like when to protect and then when to kind of like sit back and be like, this is okay. From an early age, we show the dogs the difference between someone who has bad intent and good intent. Meaning you can have a situation where somebody is trying to harm the family that that, that dog is attached to and uh, that dog will, will respond in force. But if that intent is not there, that intent to cause harm to that, that family or that family member, then the dog is, is just there watching. These dogs start obedience from a very, very young age, and then we basically build upon that as we go. Inherently, the dogs know what they need to do. What we're really doing is just kind of guiding them. You know, we're guiding them, we're ensuring that the obedience is there. And exposing them to when it's appropriate to do these behaviors. When is it appropriate to track? When is it appropriate to bite? When is it appropriate just to be a happy member of the family? Starting at Eight weeks old, you know, we have them on leads, we have them getting being around people, we have them getting used to being around handlers. As they kind of get older, we just start building, so we build their stabilization. And then we start kind of building up their confidence as they go. And we try to think about what's a day in the life of our clients and what do our clients want to do with these dogs and where are they going to take these dogs and pre-socialize them. What we try to do is give them as many scenarios as possible so that we're building their confidence and we're getting them in uncomfortable situations and then still making sure that they, they perform. There's a lot of different levels of protection dogs out there. What we do is make sure that we have a balance between livability and capability. They're everyday dogs. They want to be around us and they want to please us just like, you know, any dog you might want to pick up from a shelter. I think a lot of times potential clients, they, you know, they, they hear the term family protection dog and instantly are like, this is just gonna be an attack dog that's uncontrollable. Families are individuals who have prioritized their peace of mind, their safety, their emotional well-being. Those are the people who have our dogs. It's having that, that best friend and that, that protector at the same time. There's nothing scarier to a young mom who's trying to put a baby or two into a vehicle in a parking lot and load the groceries. You are the, your most vulnerable right then and there. And to know that you've got someone watching your back that entire time, that, that peace of mind is absolutely priceless.